Today in Calabama cooking, we're making chorizo sausage stuffed bell peppers. Who doesn't love a stuffed bell pepper? Exactly, so why not put some sausage in it? Come on in the kitchen, guys. Let's cook. So family, I am starting off with my chorizo sausage. I've turned the skillet on so it can start heating up and then we're gonna turn to these bell peppers, but I'm just gonna kind of walk you through our ingredients so you know what's going on, okay? So here, like I said, I've got a pound of chorizo sausage. You can use any sausage. You can use ground beef and sausage, whatever. I happen to love chorizo. My family loves chorizo. Has just enough kick, you know, just enough kick to make you feel like it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then once that gets going, we're gonna add some garlic to it. We're gonna add some chopped celery, onion, and carrots as well. Then we're gonna mix in some breadcrumbs and of course some cheese inside and on the top. And we've got a few seasonings here. I didn't actually even measure out the parsley and garlic powder this time because I'm actually just gonna feel it as I go. You know what I'm saying? Feel it, yeah. Just kind of, you know, be one with it. All right, so we're using three bell peppers today. I'm using red, yellow, and orange. And you're thinking, why aren't you using green? Well, in all honesty, the green ones taste a little earthier and I prefer the slight sweetness to these. But use green, baby. Now, people a lot of times slice them and stuff them to stand up. I like stuffing them the other way. So here's how we're gonna cut them. All right, bell pepper, take the stem off. Okay, sorry, let me get that part straight. Let me get the stem out of here first. Just a little bit, there we go. Okay, see I'm just taking it off, just, just getting the top of it off, okay? There we go, I'll fix that, don't worry about that. All right, now we're gonna cut it down like this, evenly, okay? And I'm gonna do that with all three of these. This one looks like I might have, you might have got mad at me. Sorry, I ate your top off. <laughs> Apparently you need to be nicer to the peppers. <laughs> All right, this is getting going. I'm just gonna break that up a little bit and let that meat start cooking. This is my little trash bowl. I'll put it here. So once you get these cut open, what you wanna do, the reason I cut it with the top on it at first is so I could keep this portion of the bell pepper so it'll sit like a boat when I stuff it. So now that it's open, I'm just gonna go in, get this part out, a little bit, okay? See that? Just cutting that out. And I'm gonna take this out, okay? Just like that. Anything else that needs to go, just go in and trim it around and you're going to rinse these one more time. Okay, I've already rinsed the outside. See, now I'm taking this out, the seeds out. These are not like jalapenos where those peppers are so hot. So, you know, if you suck a jalapeno pepper and then come near your face, your face will not be happy with you. These peppers are not hot. They shouldn't even call them peppers. Because that only is hot, but they're honestly not hot. So what should they be called? I don't know. Here we go. Can you see this one? Just getting these insides. I should probably use a smaller knife for this part, but I like to live dangerously. I hope y'all point out on my fingers. I need my fingers. I play the piano too. <laughs> there we go. Cut all that out. Yes. Okay. I'm going to cut all of them like this. And then give them a good rinse. But see, I like stuffing them this way because then the whole thing sits up like this. It's just easier than trying to get them all the exact same size so they'll stand up. I know that's pretty and stuff, but I'm sorry. I, you can have pretty and functional at the same time. You don't have to be pretty or functional. Amen, like. <laughs> and this is a great side dish also. You can stuff these with just rice if you wanted to have like a vegetable stuffing in them. Or you can even stuff it with like a quinoa and make it a vegetarian dish. You got options, baby. All right. There we go. Our sausage is coming together nicely. I'm going to go ahead and add in our garlic to it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hit it with a little olive oil on there as well, just so that garlic doesn't burn. Turn my fan on. I'm going to add in 
these vegetables. And this is just gonna help us fill out that stuffing. So celery, onions, and carrots. And like I said, the beauty is if you don't wanna use a celery, onion, carrot mix, no. <laughs> I mean, it's really not the end of the world. But you can use, like I said, rice or any number of things really to fill it with. I'm just gonna break these up some more. All right, Sam, so our filling has come together beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the breadcrumbs now. Okay. Ooh, ooh, almost dropped that. <laughs> Turn my heat down just a bit. You may not need all of these breadcrumbs, but you know, to start with it. I'm gonna add in my parsley. And I'm gonna add some garlic powder. These are the things. These are the things that make life good. <laughs> My hand is a little hot. Now you see I'm gonna stir this up. See, I'm not worrying about trying to cook the breadcrumbs per se. I'm actually turning my heat off. I'm just letting everything get incorporated because that's gonna fill this out nicely. And now I'm going to add my cheese. I'm gonna leave some cheese aside though because I wanna sprinkle cheese on the top. All right? So just like this. Oh yeah, that looks delish. Absolutely delish. Oh, smells amazing in here. And guys, you wanna add just a little bit of water to help keep the moisture in there. I just put about a quarter cup, just a little bit. You don't need very much. Oh man, that looks so good. A little more cheese in there. Oh, look at that. That looks really really good if you want any additional moisture or liquid in there you can always add a little bit more water but i put about a quarter cup in there just to kind of help it along okay now what we're going to do is gonna take that off the heat here are my peppers i have washed them all see from the inside all out completely got the seeds out and everything and you know what my tray is a little small so i think i'm gonna have to this little thing is gonna get left behind <laughs> we're gonna stuff these now i want to tell you one thing though guys a lot of times when you make stuffed bell peppers, if your peppers are firm, really, really firm, okay, you might want to parboil them. And what that means is you do this whole step, get them halfway like this, and then drop them in boiling water for about five to seven minutes just to soften them up, okay? Now, I didn't have to parboil these because these are already soft. So you really want to feel it. You see how soft these peppers are already? I didn't need to parboil. I don't need to do that with these. Okay, but I've had some, when you get them home from the store, if they're chirp, very firm, drop them in. You're not gonna mess up the dish, but you just wanna help it along. Does that make sense? All right, so now we are going to commence with stuffing. So you see these have been all washed out and cleaned out. Sorry, baby. And look, I'm gonna take this filling, move that handle, because it got hot last time. And look, we're just gonna stuff it in here. You see how by leaving that top there, we end up with that whole little boat section at the front of it? And I will most likely overstuff these because that's how I roll. Turn the fan off, okay? See, look at that. It's pretty too, isn't it? So we're gonna stuff these. We're gonna put these in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And all we're waiting for is everything to get nice and warm and come together. This is gonna melt. Some people put an egg in their stuffing. I'm not into that so much. But I mean, if you want to, baby, do it. I'm not gonna talk about you, you know? Do you. But stuff them good. Don't be skimpy. Don't, don't get, you know, soft with it. And just put a little touch in there. No. You didn't put sausage in here. You know what we should try, baby? I wanna try some seafood stuff things. What do y'all think? I wanna stuff them with like some crab and shrimp. I saw that somewhere and it looked good to me. And then I mentioned it to my husband and he went, hmm, but that don't mean nothing. I mean, what I mean by it don't mean nothing is, you don't always know what he's gonna like until I make it and get a hold of it. You know what I'm saying? So I can't let that be the sole deciding factor, fam. I don't know. But stuff these nice and high. See that? And I'm letting them kind of lean on each other.
It tastes like a meal. It can be a side dish. It can also be a meal. <laughs> See, there's a little cavity in there. I'm gonna get that little spot there too. And I have some leftover stuffing, which is fine. Can I tell y'all what I did the last time I made these bell peppers and I had leftover stuffing? Y'all don't talk about me, but it's the truth anyhow. I put this on pizza. I did. It was so good. I didn't tell anybody that's what was on it either. I just put it on there and told them it was sausage, which it was. Okay. There we go. You see there? Now everything is nice and stuffed. Okay. Now we're gonna top this with the remaining cheese here. And I'm just using a plain cheddar blend. See there? You can also top these with toasted breadcrumbs. I'm not crazy about that. I love the texture of breadcrumbs, but in all honesty, guys, in this dish, it's just not my favorite thing. But if you like it, go for it. I'm not, it's not bad, it just wasn't my favorite thing. And since it's not my favorite thing, and my cooking show. <laughs> But if you want to, just take a little butter, toast your breadcrumbs, you know, and then put them on top. But we're going to go for this cheese right here. All right. And we're going to put this, like I said, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And they are going to come out delicious. And we're going to eat this filling. And you know what? This filling, y'all. Let me wipe this off. This filling is done, right? Ain't no eggs in here. Oops. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. That chorizo is just right. I might just eat that. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get this baby in the oven. We'll see you on the other side. Well, family, look, our beautiful peppers spent a half hour in the oven on 350. And look at this. These are melted beautifully. I put a little touch of oil on the top when I take them out. You can do butter or oil or nothing. But do you see how beautiful they are? Look at that. A little cheese melted on the bottom, which is perfect. Oh my gosh, look. I just want to, I need to take a picture. But I want to just get in here and get a little, okay, I'm going to fix this. Oh, look. You see that, fam? You see how pretty that is? Oh, yes. And these peppers, hold on, what do they? Mmm, it tastes even better than it did. Mmm. I see these, I already touched this pepper. See, they're, 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 they're softer, you see? They didn't have to hard boil. See how I can just put my fork through it? That was my whole point. Okay, I have to eat that one. Guys, mmm, this is amazing. There's so many things you can stuff these with. I was just thinking about it, my mind was going crazy. Make these. Your family will thank you. You will love them. You're welcome. All right, I'll see you guys next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with your girl, Chef Lorius. That's me. Happy cooking.